Hello, I'm Brian Johnson, and today we're gonna to use the Clarice Pal to identify the femoral nerve for a femoral nerve block. So you have your probe and you have your Clarice app. Um, it's gonna be under the nerve pain preset, which is already done. You have the patient lying supine and you go to the affected groin region, depending upon what injury they have and why you need to do the femoral nerve block. For our purposes today, we're gonna to do the right lower extremity is the affected extremity. So what you do is you take your probe and you go to the inguinal crease. And basically, you're trying to find three structures and stay away from two of them. We're staying away from the femoral artery and the femoral vein. What you really want to identify is the femoral nerve. So I always remember that there are, is the, the acronym I say, navel, nerve, artery, vein, empty, and lymph. So from lateral to medial, you have the nerve, the artery, the vein, empty, and lymph, navel. So for our purposes today, we're finding the femoral nerve, which you can see right here. The femoral nerve is laterally to the femoral artery. You see this pulsatile structure adjacent to it. That's the femoral artery. Lateral to it is this lovely triangular honeycomb structure called the femoral nerve. Now sitting on top of this is the fascia iliaca. And this is really important because when you're doing your nerve block, you wanna pop under the fascia iliaca and provide anesthetic that spreads near the femoral nerve. Because of ultrasound, you can stay far away from the nerve and still provide an appropriate volume of anesthetic, safely not damaging or injuring the nerve. So, once again, this is the femoral nerve here, honeycomb structure, triangular, sitting under the fascia iliaca and the femoral artery. If you're going to do a femoral nerve block, you would do an in-plane approach coming in from the left of the screen, seeing your needle tip the entire time. So femoral nerve blocks can be performed blind, but with the involvement of, of ultrasound, it can be more accurate and minimize your complications, most notably um, damaging the nerve or injecting into the nerve and arteriopuncture. Thank you.